day was a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. All right, welcome back. You may notice I'm dressed the part this week. We're ready to get back into it. I believe we're going to Hogsmeade this week, and I'm also very excited to get back into the wizarding world, so let's just get into it. We, we've got some mayhem to, to cause. So, uh, looks like we gotta go Rebellion. talk to Professor Ronin. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Really was looking for to go to Hogsmeade, but whatever. All right, what are we, what are we doing? Collect flying page and statue. This is the right one. Got it. Got it. Oh, oh, bro, get out of my face! Just wait till I learn some spells, my guy. Rebellion. What did I see earlier? Oh, that's right. He's gonna have me, or going to have me repair this statue. Kazoot hide. Ah, got it. I'll stand a chance. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Beep. Got him. Repair rail. All right. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a guilty lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Rebellion. Central Hall of Hell. I'm wondering if this is the same or the fountain that's supposed to be in Gringoth or um, the ministry. Never thought about that. At any rate, um, what do you want? Hello, Lenora. Oh, this is Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. I've never if heard those adjectives before. And I do. An empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. 
Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Bodega. Do come and find me if you stumble on something Lumos. illuminating that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Uh, stairs and a statue. And I th don't know if it's the fifth friar. Don't think it is. Is it? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh. Here. was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> That's for sure. I, where did... Alright, well, let's go find Lenora and rub it in her face. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve. Especially since I'm the one who told you about it in the first place. <laughs> Imagine solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer. I mean, sometimes you just gotta look out for yourself, you know? If you were supposed to be Ravenclaw, maybe you were supposed to figure it out for yourself. Would be clever enough not to share. That's all I'm saying. They We're gonna get sidetracked again. Is everything Cressida. Right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. I'm sure they do. But I must have confused the Latin you word the for gym. feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> that sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect I mean, the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. Scribner. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get Wouldn't them for me. want to get a howler. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. <sighs> Fine. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that curious. they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Ami spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. All right, well, I suppose I could have time if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me... If I find I that diary, I am going to read it. So. Alright, well. I guess Hogmaid's gonna wait. Hogs Mead. I don't know why it's called Hogs Mead. And does Hogs Mead come from a hog's head? Is it really just... the barf of a hog? These, these are the hard-hitting questions, you know? What am I looking for? Books. <laughs> Ooh, look at that range. Oh, come on. This must be Cressida's diary. Oh, heck yeah. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was 
creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions, always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Ooh. Our broth smoke what? Our broth smokies. Smokies. Again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial t- to them now. Although I still prefer meat pie. Alright. Hey hey. I'm just like a sniper with this. Field guide page. The old library. Stop looking at me. Aha. Okay. <laughs> Rebellion. Get over here. Got it. That's the last book. All right. Now to nope. take them back to Cresta. Okay, she can wait. I see a chest. And this. The old librarian guy. There he is. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Let us spin. <laughs> Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Which oh, I read. What a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Cut it out. Rebellion. All right. I also need a broom. <laughs> Fly around. Let's see another thing. Alohomora, which I don't know. Rebellion. That's a ghost. Some money, which will be good. I need to buy some well, stuff. Fancy meeting you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get on your good side for a little bit, Sebastian, but just you wait. Just Hello, Sebastian. you wait. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need, shall we? Character's right, I haven't left the castle since. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. Oh, As yeah. am I. Thank you, by the way. Glad to make this of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, Just I'd wait. be wise to keep an eye on you. True. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my <laughs> detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace flies. They're pretty to look at, 
If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Thanks for the heads up. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite oh, a sight. Oh, be some hippogriffs. You certainly don't see that every day. Gotta stop. Oh, yes, I know. Ooh. Oh, Sebastian, come back. <laughs> there we go. Mr. Moon, he's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks anymore. a bit worse for wear. So, dude. Uh, Mr. Moon, have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. Huh? I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Right. Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I don't think I've he's drinking pumpkin juice, kid. <laughs> Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Yeah, we'll see about that, huh? Get over here. Oh, come on. Who are you talking to, miss? Oh, another one. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the show. I think at the end of this, I want to do a compilation. Something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Or moths to a lumos. So how would you like to do this? All right, I'll try to walk away from you. Had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes. Yes. Ditton seeds, some spellcraft, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new one. And a short list gives you plenty of time Be to poke around the for. village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. All right. Tomes and scrolls. That's where we're going first. An inquiring mind. Oh, just want the, the spellcraft. I Pardon think is what me, I get from him. I'm here for the spellcraft. Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. I'm guessing you're just gonna only let me get what I need, so... If you're interested, 
feel free to take a look around at the rest of Beast my inventory. Beast and bucks. What do you got for, like, clothes? Nah, we're good for now. We'll do Ollivander's last. It'd be funny again, I dare ya. Thieves, preachers. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushin' Rebellion. Oh, I forgot to look in the other guy's thing for stuff. Oh, here's one. Ornate juniper gloves. There we go. I finally have stuff in my inventory. Yeah, I like those a lot better. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmead, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. No look. 360 no scope. Well, hello there. Hi. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But... What say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? <laughs> Rebellious. This is a sack of gold. Yeah, that'd be nice. That's all right. Got it. Excuse you. Another one. Got to, you know? Rebellion. Ollivander's one shot. Chest. 
just do the home. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I. Uh about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course you'll have heard of the olivanders i'm sure finest one makers in the world it's a pleasure to meet you truly now come with me let's find you the perfect one shall we mm, uh, no 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 not you um ah Core, ten and a half inches. Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. the shelf for you uh, this is proving to be trickier than i had anticipated how perplexing um where are you perhaps you uh, ah there you are yes i think you might be the one here Take it. One brown. What type? Acacia. How intriguing. We're going to go. <clears throat> We're going to go hazel. We're going to make it long. Just because and we're gonna make it how intriguing reasonably subtle. And dragon heart string. What do you think? Yeah. I like my choice. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm Good eager job. to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not right. be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I want to I wanna change. Calliope? Hello. Oh, come in! Come in! Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? <laughs> but I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here for 
thriving. Absolutely right. thriving. Nobody asked. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why yeah. not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. <laughs> but you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. All right, we got a new look. Revelio. Nope, nothing, okay. All right, Sebastian. Oh, there's a cat there. I missed the cat. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for my sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. That's what I was thinking of. But wait, there's gonna be another one. Sebastian, let's see what you got when you're not. Are we weakening him at all? Keep that. Looks like it. We'll wear him down eventually. No. Goodness, a second troll. Yes. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are. Okay, we're okay. glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. We'll if see. you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, I guess. Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. I feel like I'm gonna have no choice, so... Repair. I see a cat. One last thing for Officer. I'll go and see what he wants. Cat. Priorities, okay? Not sure why I'm not repairing the thing. Look at that. Repair. Rugged dude it was. Okay. <laughs> that did a whole lot. Have 
to. We started it and now we can't stop, you know? Did I do that? Yeah, he was. Alright, I gotta, I gotta get some tea. I guess I'll fill guide page. I think this Mii's mannequins probably move. And then, can we grab some more tea real quick? Demi, oh, a demigai statue, but it's night time. But it's daytime. It needs to be nighttime. Chest, globe. Okay, now we can talk. What's up? <laughs> Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? All right, I suppose. <laughs> what else you got? Can I afford anything? We'll come back. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget yes. that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. Three broomsticks is just this way. said you could get to the Chard when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. 
No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Fine. Scaredy cat. Speaking of... Lumos. Rebellion. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. All right. What are we doing? Owl post. What do we got, Professor? Hey, come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket. We found it, Green Guts. All right. Same note. <laughs> Talk to Professor Fig. Rebellion. I'm going to give you a tour of this awesome common room one of these days. Today is not that day. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say, after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book. 
but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Might some kind soul help me? Oh, I think I know what the one is. I think this is Don't the gobstones or something. Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. Sounds like you're a cheater. People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds as if you caused a smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, that is true, I can't but... work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. I'm if going you to do keep find all of my gobstones. Do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Back up here. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Gotta try this. All right, so one, eight is nine. So four, zero, one, two, three, four. And then thirteen and three is sixteen, so five. I've got it. <clears throat> Open this bad boy. Decorate over mental stands. Last night was that it? Gold wooden spectacles. Whoa. Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. Action. Come on. Okay. Second one is. Nine and three is twelve. <laughs> uh, so whoa. twelve and nineteen is seven. So that looking guy, I'm not great at mental math, all right. Judge me all you want. And then that one is 15. And two is 17, six. So it should be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Got it. Give me something good. Or solar protection goggles. <clears throat> Ooh, come to fire. Her ball 
Trophy Award. Centaur armor. Those are going to be there, but where the world? Wait. Okay, so I think that that is it. That's annoying. <laughs> that is annoying. Especially after that, I'm keeping them. Lumos. I didn't really look, to be fair. But I didn't see that. Aha. The good thing, the nice thing about these puzzles is that usually it's not like super far from where you need to be. Which I appreciate. That, that would just get annoying, you know? I got gobstones in high places. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio! Got him. Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Probably, just so I can tell her I'm keeping this set. Hopefully this goes without saying, but this is just for the video. <laughs> I'm not a bully in real life. This is just for the video. Disclaimer. Should go at the beginning of this, but. And you're going down when it comes time. Okay. Uh, I don't like you. I don't like anybody. Anyway, I already forgot where the portrait is anyway, so. On to the next. Now my favorite part. more luck than I did tracking down my gob- Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You keep my prized collection for yourself? Yes. Find his keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it! You're just as bad as everyone else. I hate this school. You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells. Incendio time. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Got him. Got him. Excellent ball. Nice. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. True. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Lucan, is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. 
I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Might as well, right? Ready to get thrashed? Not by you. Apologies in advance. Constance Dagwood. Oh, easy. Look, I didn't use my ancient magic on you. Jeez. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. Good. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Sounds good, dude. Hope to see you then. Is able to... I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far. But please, maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate, and keep your wand steady. All right, well, I think that is where we're going to end it. I appreciate you coming and coming and watching. This has been fun. I hope you appreciate my my outfit here. Let, let me know your thoughts so far. Let me know what you're thinking of the series. Let me know what kind of mischief I should get into going forward. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment and I'll see you later nerds.